There is an instant becoming when you ask for something vibrationally because vibrationally speaking there is no resistance that is preventing it and it is only your resistance it's only your doubt it's only your contradictory thought it's your it's only your I want it but I don't believe I can have it I want it but it's hard to get it I want it but I've never had it I want it but it's illogical it's just that other thing you do that steps all over what you want that keeps it from manifesting in your experience but it doesn't stop it from manifesting vibrationally in ours now you may not want to use the word manifesting with vibrationally but we do because by manifesting we mean becoming in a way that we can experience it fully and we get it that for you to experience something fully that you want it to manifest in a way that you can see it hear it smell it taste it touch it we say to you you launch these rockets they're gathered in this vibrational reality you've been very kind and patient with us watching us wave Esther's arms around there's this vortex wrote a whole book about it did you read it there's this vortex there's vortex it's this vibrational reality and everything that you want is in there and your inner being is in there too and you've been lovely about it and after a while you began thinking and sometimes saying mostly thinking things like all right all right all right enough of the vortex enough of the vortex I'll, I'll accept maybe that stuff is in there that I want but Abraham I'd like the money that's in there to come out of the vortex and get into my bank account I'd like a manifestation that is tangible that is livable that is provable that is reliable that is observable that is reality reality in the way that I mean reality in my physical form and we want to say to you we we are saying to you we want to never say anything other than this to you that's happening all day every day to the degree that you are vibrationally up to speed with what's in there so how does the vibrational reality that you're creating all day every day how does it come into your bank account how do how do the relationships become how does the experience that you want to live become tangible how do you turn those thoughts to things how does that happen we say it happens by your vibrational adjustment which means it happens by your mood elevation which means it happens by your awareness of how you feel it happens by your wanting to feel good it happens by you wanting so much to feel good that you're willing to emphasize the thoughts that do and de-emphasize the thoughts that don't and after a while of giving more detail to what feels good and less detail to what doesn't feel good you will have modified or bridged slowly the beliefs that you hold that have been hindering you that have been keeping you from allowing what's in your vibrational reality to move to a recognizable realization to a realization being serenaded to a realization a realization Esther's been thinking a lot about hindering beliefs because you know you move through life and you think that life is showing you things so you offer a behavior usually it's interpersonal relationships that make you think the most about things like this and then you come to conclusions well I didn't like how that turned out so I think I will modify my approach to life and what you sometimes always don't realize <laughs> is that as you let life train you sometimes you develop beliefs that keep you from what you really want in other words oh I always do it this way because when I didn't do it this way this thing that I didn't want happened so now I don't do it that way anymore because I don't want that thing that I didn't want to happen to happen again but you know what the fact that you're not doing it that way because you don't want that thing to happen means that thing is still happening because it's active in your vibration and your determination to hold it away or to hold the reins of it in some other way don't keep it from coming it keeps it coming because you live in a universe that is attraction based law of attraction is the manager of all vibrational frequencies and it's such a lovely thing because law of attraction is consistent law of attraction is not controlling your life experience law of attraction is reflecting back your control of your life experience and if you don't like what you're getting 
You're controlling what you're getting without knowing you're controlling what you're getting. That's what we call creating by default. You've got habits of thought that are not serving you. So what are you going to do? What are you going to do if you've got habits of thought that aren't serving you? Well, I'm going to stop thinking that thought. Right. I'm going to think about that thing that I'm thinking about. I'm going to put all the things in place to prevent that thing that I don't want. There's a war against drugs and a war against cancer and a war against AIDS and a war against teenage pregnancy and a war against drugs and a war against and a war against and a war against terrorism. A war against, a war against, a war against. And all of them are getting bigger, bigger. Because there is no exclusion in this attraction-based universe. You cannot push against anything without activating the vibration within you. And we want you to look at it this way. Not that it's bringing to you what you don't want. It is. But don't look at it like it's bringing to you what you don't want because that's not really the big picture. It's preventing you from allowing yourself what you do want. You see what we're getting at? Because the art of allowing is the same thing as the path of least resistance. The path of least resistance. The path that feels the best. The path that feels the best is the best. But sometimes people get all twirled up in that. Abraham, the path of least resistance we all just did what we wanted to do. Nobody would do anything. <laughs> Nothing would get done if we all just did what we want to do. Somebody's got to do the stuff. And we say, path of least resistance means, path of least resistance means that life has caused you to create a reality that you are moving toward. And path of least resistance just means Having right here, right now, an attitude or a mood, being in a place that you, having created an atmosphere where you feel the inspiration for the path toward what you want, not resistance against the path that you don't want. Can you hear the difference? It's a big difference. You may still be, and it's all right, at the place where what you really want is just to be able to create what you want. I'd like that new house. I'd like that better feeling job. I'd like a mate or an improvement in the relationship that I have. I would like more money. All those things are things that we hear from you. Those are things that would feel better now, 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 now. And we like it that there are things that you desire that you are focused upon. But we want to convey in a way that you will really personally get it that the reason that you want all of those things is because you believe you would feel better in the having of them. And we want you to know that you can feel better in the moving toward them. Because in the no longer resisting their becoming, say that again, in your no longer resisting your awareness that they are becoming, say that again, in your no longer beating the drum of details that hold you in vibrational dissonance with their becoming. Say that again. In your, in your, when you no longer are beating the drum and practicing vibrations, that's what beliefs are, that contradict who you really are and what you really want. Drum roll, please. You will stand in joy. Now, you wanted us to say, you'll have what you want. <laughs> but joy is what you want. You'll stand in joy. And if you keep doing that, every detail, right down to the smallest piece of it, will manifest into your experience. And your sense of worthiness is going to go through the roof as you realize you did create that. You defined it. You synthesized it. You concluded it. You preferred it. You wanted it. You gave birth to it. You gave birth to it and the inner being part of you held it in precision as you kept amending it and adding to it. There is a vibrational reality that holds everything that you want that you can move into now. Just don't try to do it all at once. Just allow yourself to let go of hindering beliefs. We have set out to explain to you in ways that you can really feel how this all works. 
we say to you that contrast causes you to want something more than you have right now. To want more people in the world to be living happily ever after. You want that, don't you? More of them eating, more of them sleeping peacefully, more of them living happily ever after, more of them understanding their value, more of them knowing who they really are. We know that you want these things. And as life causes you one by one, experience by experience, to launch these what we've been calling rockets of desire, the larger part of you, the inner being part of you, stands in this vibrational reality, being what you have asked for the moment that you ask for it. And you know why there is that instant manifestation for the inner being part of you? Because the inner being part of you holds no beliefs that prevent it from happening right now. That's the most important thing we've ever said to anyone. Did you hear it? So we know we're talking about vibration. We must because everything is. We're talking about emotion. It matters because your emotions are your indicator of your vibration. And once you get a handle on that, once you understand that the way you feel is so important and that it's not wrong or bad or inappropriate to have negative emotion any more than it is wrong or bad to have sensors in your hands that tell you that the stove is hot and that it is not beneficial for you to embrace it. <laughs> oh, this is a problem. I'm embarrassed that I'm so sensitive. I could get Novocaine or something <laughs> to prevent me from feeling the discomfort of this. Or you could utilize your guidance and not do things, not say things, not think things that feel bad, you see. Because if you don't continue the thoughts that feel bad, they'll peter out because they're only active in your vibration because of your attention to them, you see. Anything that's happening to you means that you have an active vibration that is calling it. An active vibration that's calling to you what you don't want, an active vibration that is keeping you from what you do want, you see. You are the creator of your own reality because you are the emitter of your own vibration because you are the thinker of your own thoughts and you are the uh, responder or not responder to your own guidance system. And so this is not a difficult thing. Kate played a game with Jerry and Esther when she was really little. It was really fun. She would hide something in some big room and then they would come in and she would guide them by saying, you're getting warmer. You're getting warmer or you're getting colder. You're getting colder. And because she knew where it was and because her signal was very clear and obvious, they always found it every single time, usually relatively quickly. Jer would sometimes just go in opposition to what she was saying. Colder, 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 colder. That's sort of like frustration more frustration, overwhelmment, <laughs> anger, <laughs> true resentment, <laughs> revenge, <laughs> hatred, <laughs> fear, depression, colder, 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 further from who you are, further from what you want. This is not difficult, but you want to get in touch with your emotions. You want to stop pretending that you don't feel what you feel and accept them as the very valuable guidance that they are. Not a judgment, not a punishment, not an indictment, a simple awareness of where you are in relationship to who you really are, what you really want, who you really mean to be. That's all. And when you get your guidance, clear in your own mind, then life becomes easy to understand.